The start of volume two. Right off the bat, you can tell that the team behind Ruby really wanted to make big leaps and strides towards improving the show's quality. The environments are more desaturated and helps to let the characters proper pop more. Their walk cycles feel more natural and even the food eating looks good. Literally every animation complaint I had with the first episode of volume one is improved tenfold here. This episode also is an amazing example of how to use a clever, fun way to reintroduce the key ideas of our characters' skills to the audience. The food fight is not only an iconic moment from the show, but a super fun, lighthearted way of reminding the audience what everyone's fighting styles and semblances are. But the more serious tone around the food fight does a good job letting us know that this volume, while still fun and entertaining, is going to start going in a more dramatic direction. It's fantastic. The best part of the episode is definitely the villains, though. They all do a great job establishing the kind of threat they possess. Introducing Emerald and Mercury to us right away with their casual murder, it's a crazy way to not only introduce their personalities, but also their ruthless natures. Seeing Torchwick's huge death supply and the large amount of space and minions the evil team has going for them tells us that Team Ruby only barely scratched the surface with these guys in Volume 1. Then we meet Cinder properly, with her cool confidence and an eerie, threatening vibe to her. Amazing introductions all around. My favorite is Emerald stealing Torchwick's lighter, though. It's so fun. She was so much fun. <laughs> the worst part of this episode? God, it's always hard picking one when the episodes are really good, because it'll just feel pedantic or nitpicky. Like, I could say it's Ruby's out of nowhere weird reference to Nixon joke, but all the rest of the jokes in the episode are really good. I guess I'll just say the worst part is Neptune. He doesn't do anything wrong. I just really don't like Neptune. This episode is the fifth best of the volume. Not the dead middle, but also not too high up. That's not a knock at the quality of this episode, it just means that the top four are really spectacular. So, what I've been doing is I'm going to be releasing a Ruby episode review every day for one month. So, I hope you have fun with this month-long Ruby review marathon. Want to see the next episode review early? Consider becoming a patron! And on that note, shout out to my beautiful $10 patrons, you're all amazing. Nako, Cool Duck, Andrew, Valhalla Knight, Chamomile, G-Extreme, Classy Critic, Noah Perkins, Sunny Shy, Jake, Amber, Hype Man, Zero to Hero, Isaiah, Scaring Crows, Not All That Evil, Messiah Complex, Jacob, Virus, Ben Sketchbook, The Watcher, Omega Fighter, Trash, Wild Pilot, Josh, Swift Cannon, The Infinity Effect, Gino, and Twisty. If you like these reviews, go ahead and give it a like, and I'll see you for the next one. Bye bye.